rejoicing. One hundred and seventy thousand cubic meters of water flow past here every minute at almost sixty kilometers per hour. That's enough water to fill about a hundred thousand Olympic swimming pools every day. Standing here, you can actually feel the power of the water. Harnessing that power is what hydroelectric stations have been designed to do for over a hundred years in Ontario. In essence, they are factories that convert the energy of falling water into the flow of electrons or what is commonly called electricity. The electricity that powers the products. Most hydroelectric stations use either water diverted around the natural drop of the river, such as a waterfall or rapids, or a dam is built across the river to raise the water level and provide the drop needed to create a driving force. Water at the higher level is collected in the forebay. It flows through the plant intake into a pipe called a pinstock, which carries it down to a turbine water wheel at the lower water level. The water pressure increases as it flows down the pinstock. It is this pressure and flow that drives the turbine that is connected to the generator. Inside the generator is the rotor that is spun by the turbine. Large electromagnets are attached to the rotor located within coils of copper wire called the stator. As the generator rotor spins the magnets, a flow of electrons is created in the coils of the stator. This produces electricity that can be stepped up in voltage through the station transformers and sent across transmission lines. The falling water, having served its purpose, exits the generating station to the tail race where it rejoins the mainstream of the river to continue the cycle of creating clean, renewable energy for Ontario. 